Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our learning festival this morning. Yeah, and thank you so much for your time. And in this difficult period uh, in COVID situation, I really hope everybody are doing well and stay safe. So my name is Bernie, and today I will be representing the School of Fashion. So before we begin the uh, to understand more about the school. And as you can see from the behind here, um, this is the fashion show we're running uh, uh, previously. And this is a, in Singapore uh, National Gallery. So we are the one of the uh, fashion school participate this Singapore Fashion Week. So very proud for our designers and our teams. And I understand that today we are going to have a lot of interesting, attractive prize and repeat and go on. So at the end of the, my presentation, I will give um, five to 10 minutes of uh, Q&A session. And also I will give my uh, colleagues from the uh, sales team that can uh, share with us what is the exciting news for today's. Okay, so now I'm going to share uh, the screen about the fashion school. So from here, you can understand better our fashion story. Right. Okay, look at the beautiful campus. Yes, here we are. We are at uh, MDIS, um, uh, Management Development Institution of Singapore. This is our uh, campus, Block A, beautiful. And our fashion school actually in Singapore is already more than a decade. So it might be new to some of you, but uh, never too late to, to know about us. All right, before we continue, uh, if you have a phone or device with you, don't mind please take out your, turn on your camera, just a uh, screenshot and scan our QR code. And this created by our uh, fashion marketing students and it's very easy and accessible for you to bring uh, to our social media platform. So having said that you will have the latest news about our fashion school movement. All right, so having said that, um, we have a very interesting um, position in Singapore. As a Singapore, we are one of the top 10 country for the students who have a passion, who have a dream about fashion to study. And because we are in a very significant uh, gateway between East to the West, we have combined all the Western culture and strong of inherited of East, uh, East culture. All right. So the next thing I'm going to show you a very interesting video for everyone to have a first understand of the school activity. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
this very beautiful memory coming back. Yeah, I always ask me about the award the student did. Yeah, so our school offer University of Portsmouth uh, degree, which is the BA Honor uh, in Fashion and Textile Design. Our next intake will be October in this year. And what is the beauty about this university? Yeah, Portsmouth is a number 12 in UK among of the fashion university. So the pathway is start from our higher uh, diploma. Of course, if you need to have a, a further foundation, you can join our SEMA uh, for six months uh, duration. After that, you can progress to higher diploma, which is only nine months. And you will have a comprehensive with fashion textile, drafting, um, drippings and um, merchandising and buying and so on training. So after that, you will have a privilege to progress to uh, Postmove second year degree. So which is you get yourself fully equipped and join the final uh, uh, two years of fashion degree courses. And this is a beautiful university. Yeah. And the next, I'm going to show you uh, what the university is uh, doing. The ultimate aim of this course is to develop really well-rounded, ambitious, highly skilled and highly creative fashion textile designers ready to make an impact on the industry. I've learned to pattern cut, I've learned to drape, I've learned to print. I've learned how to use the 3D printer and the fabric printing. I never would have had the opportunity to do that without being here. Everything seems more attainable now. Of all the skills that I have, and especially with the placement year, like I've got a lot more confidence in making clothes. And obviously without this course, it, it seems impossible to be able to make your own collection. The best thing about studying fashion and textiles at the University of Portsmouth is the sense of creative community that we have here the way that the staff and students work together. Thank you. All right. Let me introduce a little bit of the uh, course detail and the curriculum here. And what I like about the uh, curriculum of, of University of Portsmouth, they are actually not really a journey of study to become a fashion designer. Actually, you are a fashion designer and you learning all the skill and necessary knowledge with us through a lot of real uh, industry experience. So you can see from our second year uh, module here, you can see the uh, entrepreneurship, enterprise and industry research. And what's the What's the meaning different between uh, just a normal project and industry practice? Because you are going to work with the real industry partner and all the project will be um, live project basis. And there's no exam, you are working on your live project. And the industry partner, we are collaborate with uh, such as Louis Vuitton and Hong Kong Tree Development Board and Singapore Tufts. And that is uh, going to explain about what's so unique about the live project. All right. So this is the previous year we're working uh, with these British uh, high commissions and the students have a great opportunity to participate in this um, uh, beautiful uh, show. And the students will explore using uh, environment free, um, recycle, reuse uh, material to create a collection. So I think you must be excited to look at the project they are going through. And this is a sound of the work samples from our designer. So again, they get a lot of experience from uh, the whole process. And this is the fashion show I'd like to share with you.
down to Malaysia. We also bring the student, uh, especially for the marketing module, we will bring the student to participate a lot of the seminars and talks and so on. And why we do that? Because for the student, they build out their um, market connection and industry connection. So they are taking themselves uh, study their own responsibility about the learning. So they will meet people in the industry, getting feedback and participate all kinds of seminars. And before they graduate, they already know about the fashion industry. And we also bring the industry partner in such as style theory, and they give a wonderful project to our students. And they create a lot of interest, you know, from the students' feedback. So these are the wonderful classes. And our faculty also working with Sunji Masu and Singapore Breast Cancer Foundation and Canon and so on. And we did a wonderful, wonderful fashion show last year for Singapore Breast Cancer Foundation. And you can see the process, uh, we're working with uh, the industry partner, working with designer to fabric selection, the detail, the printing, the finishing and silhouette and so on. And it's a wonderful team here. And because the project is so big and they involve all level of students to participate. And it's some of the uh, photo shoot. We did it in the best stage. And later you might see uh, some of the actual garment. Yeah. And beside the ladies wear, we also bring in the children's wear, knowledge and skill and you know, kids measurements is important sometimes. And for the students have a different needs. So we just here to provide as much as possible for the students to experience men's wear, ladies wear and children's wear. And this is one of the very uh, proud and meaningful project we call Project Runway to Hope. Um, and you can see the small little bright model here. Actually, they are uh, breast, uh, the, they are actually from the cancer uh, patient. So we're getting this project uh, work together with uh, Singapore National University, uh, the group of daughters. And this is a, uh, one of the uh, photo we, we shoot after the fashion show. And you can see all these designer here and, and the daughter here, they are already in the industry. And we also provide a lot of the opportunity, encourage our students to participate um, all competition and to grab all opportunity to explore um, the fashion industry. And very proud that we have uh, a student alumni now, and her name is Zoe Zhao, and she's one of the um, final uh, first runner-up for the Harbor Bazaar competition uh, last year. And very lucky that she's been invited by Coco Chanel to sitting in front row for a resort uh, to 2020 fashion show in Paris. And she's very um, into the design and participate in all kinds of competition and menswear as well. And this is uh, uh, one of the uh, competitions she participate, menswear for a uh, men's folio competition. MDI school also bring students to oversee. Why we do so? Because we believe uh, students need to learn from uh, the industry and the foresight world classroom experience is never be enough to, for us to build a professional learning environment. So, we constantly bring our final year student to uh, the region country. So students have a chance to discuss which country or which city they want to visit. And very lucky that we have um, a panel of uh, partner in overseas. So the student participate this uh, field trip in Hong Kong. So you can see from the right hand side here, uh, it looks like a Doja Cabana uh, show uh, a store, but actually it's just they are one of the office showroom. So the student understand that all the celebrity or media partner, they came to Singapore or they go to Hong Kong and they come from Malaysia, they travel all the way to Hong Kong to get their uh, measurement fit and the, the, the actual government was sent from Milan. And this one of the uh, shooting, they are, when they travel to Hong Kong and they visit uh, Scottish and Soda and Club Monaco and so on. 
in Singapore, what kind of experience we can give? Actually, we are very lucky in Singapore. We have uh, somehow a fashion city in Southeast Asia. And Gaopei is one of the uh, old Kotola, uh, young uh, Kotola in, in the world. So last year, we are very lucky that we bring our students and faculty and to travel to visit the exhibition. Yeah. These are the uh, group of students that are very lucky to participate in this uh, trick show. And you can see on the right hand side here, this is one of our colleagues. Her name is Melinda. And Melinda is uh, handling our textile design uh, module. And she's very fantastic in textile. If you follow our Instagram and, and social media platform, and the last uh, week she did a very interesting uh, art cycling recycle material for, for textile embroidery workshop. It's amazing. So I'm going to pass the cam uh, our camera to Melinda. Okay, hi guys, hope you can hear me. Okay, once again, welcome to the MDIS um, Virtual Learning Festival. So my name is Melinda, I'm one of the lecturers in the School of Fashion, and I'll be taking you on a tour of our fashion studios. So you can see right here, against the glass walls, these are actually done by our students, and this was actually part of the Sunji Matsuo project that Bernie mentioned earlier as well. Okay, so now, let's go on a studio tour. Okay, so welcome to the School of Fashion and Design. This is one out of our three studios, and you can see here that we have many professional machines that are used in the industry. We have our overlock machines. We also have our industrial sewing machines. So at our MDIS fashion, our School of Fashion Design, we're actually equipped with um, things that you can find in the industry, like this industrial iron over here, and also these industrial heat press machines. So in our studios, students are also able to use the mannequins and also have all the space here to do their work. Okay, so there's a class going on right now. Can you see? <laughs> so over here, there is a QR code from IDA Singapore. So if you are keen on um, career opportunities or any retail training curriculum, you can actually scan this QR code and it will take you to a link where you can register for all these things as well. Okay, so right now, let me take you guys to our other studio where there are also classes ongoing. This is our degree studios. Any students? Hi! Hello. Hi, Hannah. Hi. Okay, so we have another lecturer here. Her name is Hannah. So, Hannah, what are you doing here today? Hello. Hi, I'm actually hosting a workshop right now. So, at 1 o'clock, I'm going to have a digital workshop to teach students how to illustrate on um, Illustrator. Oh, so interesting. <laughs> so, like, what illustrations do uh, So, today we are actually doing the model space. Right, so I'll be teaching students how to do the layering of colors and um, do the editing to get a very uh, lifelike even uh, sort of illustration. Wow, oh, okay, thank you, Hannah. Okay, so at this studio here as well, we also have all the industrial machines and also machines that are rarely found in Singapore. So this machine here is something that we're very proud of. There's only two sets in the entire Singapore and one of them belongs to MDIS. Okay. Now, on to our last studio. It's the most exciting studio ever. It's our final year degree studio. So, I will actually let you take a sneak peek at some of their works as well. Ta-da! Can you guys see? Wow, look at the mess on this table. Okay, so looking at this mess, it's very common found in final year studios, um, students' work. As you can see, this whole thing belongs to one student and these are actually her twelves. So twelves in fashion is actually uh, garments that are yet to be fully produced in the original textiles. So you can see over here, she did a lot of um, textile work, macrame, also hand painting and also using plastics to recycle and have an upcycling team to her project as well. So you can see weaving, macrame, more weaving. So for our UOP program, it's very textiles based and you can actually learn a lot about textiles 
and also be exposed to things that you want to learn because our, our faculty here, our staff here, they are very, very um, um, knowledgeable in this area as well. So if you're interested to find out more, you can actually ask the question later at the Q&A and we will respond to you as well. Okay, and with that, I'll pass the time back to Bernie. Bye. Oh, wow, wonderful. Thank you, Melinda. So, I'm going to share the screen again. So I hope everybody like uh, our studio facility. And the facility here, actually the setup is quite similar to the industry. And why we bring this learning environment to the classroom? Because um, we want to give the student the first hand of industry feel, and the student will create their own collection here, a lot of interaction, a lot of discussion. So this will be the place to nurture their idea. So behind this screen, you can see there is a, a panel of judges sitting in front of uh, our students. So every year, uh, the final year collection or throughout the learning journey, we will bring in the industry people from, uh, from branding, from buying, from design, uh, even from the uh, licensee and business and, and, and associate. So they were coming to give uh, feedback and comment to our students for them to improve their collection. So from here, the student actually, in another hand, to, to promote themselves, to introduce themselves to the industry uh, partner. So these are the a uh, wonderful collection done by the Singapore designer and one of the Vietnam designer. Look at the beautiful venue from Sota. And why I had to highlight this, because every year, uh, MDI is taking our graduation uh, fashion show very, very seriously, because this is the best opportunity to showcase uh, our students' work and we work very closely with the student. So how we do this fashion show uh, differently, because um, most of the organization, they will use you know, uh, the event company to run the show. But for us, we want the student from uh, marketing or from design to participate, to become uh, more involved through the whole process. So the marketing student and working with the, uh, our school internal marketing team, to create the story, uh, to write the content, to organize them uh, with the model, uh, model agency, with the choreographer, and the design student will make sure the styling and the, uh, the coordination and the sequence are running smoothly. And that is called teamwork. And now, this is another video I'm going to share with you. This is a photo from the night. So all these designers now are independent designers are working in the industry. And we really hope them doing well. Yeah. It's some of the photo you can see. And we really appreciate every student individual, the difference 
and we nurture them in their own way. So we give every student a voice to create, to develop their own dream. And this song of the designer here, I would like to share with everybody here this morning. Uh, Mina, Form, and Rona, these are two students actually graduated in 2017. They are very close friends, but both of them now are working together as an in, uh, independent designer. They start their own uh, design studio in China, Guangzhou. Yeah. So very proud of them. And when we talk about job, and these are the lists you can actually um, looking at, the job and career. So you can become a bespoke designer. And we do have a designer after graduate, they start their own men's bespoke uh, tailoring store. You can become a buyer, you can become an independent designer, or you can work in a company or organization to work as a merchandising team, or you can work in the R&D team. R&D team means you can do research and development. You either you can do uh, in the local, um, platform, or you can work with the international company to bring in the brand and working with the licensee company, or you do franchisee in overseas company. So from the courses here, the student will learn how to bring the brand to Singapore or bring to the, your country. And also you will learn how to bring your local brand penetrate to overseas market. And why we need to uh, emphasize about the job and career, because we are recruiting the student to grow together with MDIS, and we are also taking a responsibility to nurture you, to bring you up from MDIS. So throughout this learning uh, journey, we constantly conduct a uh, mock-up interview, um, a CV improvement, developing uh, coach, uh, career coaching. And these are the uh, job search engine uh, we are working very closely. And from the right hand side here, you can see just now, um, Melinda was highlight um, IDA. And why is IDA is so popular uh, with us? Because they are the one of the biggest uh, fashion job search engine in Japan. So the, the partner they are working with uh, is all the luxury brand or high-end brand, and such as the Prada and Louis Vuitton, Gucci, and so on. And now they are in Singapore. So because they are helping the fashion company to recruit the young talent. So the company, how they're working with us, they will give four uh, seminar talk uh, every year, and another four uh, career coaching session with the student. So in order then for the student to looking for a job at the end, you know, the, the, the study, uh, the last uh, year of their degree, we prepare them since year one. So we also bring the industry demand uh, to the student and then we will discuss with the student what kind of job and what is their dream job they like. So we work together toward to their direction. So these are the panel of uh, industry partner. We're sending our student to work with them for the internship. Yeah, we always believe the industry experience counts a lot because um, we want the student to understand that they, they are taking their study seriously. You are not just a student. You are actually a early stage of designer. So you're taking all your own responsibility to direct yourself toward to your learning journey. And we also support the students collection from all our marketing resources to promote our students' work. Um, you can see here, there's a search engine for our students' fashion show. We promote our students' work. And constantly, we're actually working with uh, uh, Yahoo, Lianhe Zhaobao, and Facebook, and so on. And these are the opportunity we actually uh, give to our students to create their awareness. And here there's a very interesting story I would like to share. And actually I get this slide just two days ago. 
we have a student alumni and she featured at uh, Harbor Bazaar, uh, the, the new issue. So she's uh, our this year graduate. So you can see she already made herself a name in the fashion industry. And these are the social media coverage we are always work closely. And why choose MDIS and University of Portsmouth? And as I mentioned earlier, um, we are the number 12 in UK. And what is the concept about number 12? And in United Kingdom, they have 117 university offer fashion design courses. And we are the number 12, which is one of the carefully selection university partner we are working with. And they are provide a very comprehensive in fashion design and textile knowledge, which is one of the unique uh, module I, I come across. You know, they emphasize on the uh, environment free textile technology. So, having said that, uh, students not only doing you know, textile on the surface design, they're also learning the technology, like for example, the sports where, you know, the latest trend, we're talking about how many breathable points to improve the, uh, the uh, people's performance and uh, the body temperatures. And students have the awareness about the technology with the, a new textile uh, design. And once again, and please scan our QR code. Yeah, so this will bring you to our latest uh, social media platform. And now I would like to introduce uh, our sales team um, <clears throat> colleagues here to, to tell us what is a special you know, package you know, they can actually uh, share with us for today. Yeah? And I'm really happy you know, to answer any of your question and just tell me you know what you are curious about and what kind of uh, courses and any question or any doubt in your mind and I will try my best to, to answer and then lastly I'm going to show you uh, the different background now and why I'm showing this different background because as I mentioned we're taking student fashion shows seriously and this will be the this year 2020 fashion show venue is really amazing. Yeah. So our fashion show will be uh, end of the year, somewhere in November. So please follow our social media to get the latest update. So now I'm going to uh, pass the question to maybe Richie. Is it Richie? Yeah. And Daphne, maybe you can take up some questions. But of course, I'm very happy to be here to answer all your questions. Can you hear me, Bernie? Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Hello. Can, can you hear me? I'm here. No? Yes or no? I can hear you, Richie. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. I, I have the problem with the uh, earphone. Good afternoon, everyone. How are you? No worry, Richie. How about Daphne? Um, Tell us more, yeah? Tell us what you special for today. <laughs> okay, we're actually here to assist you, Bunny. Um, Actually, uh, we're, we, we would like to support you. We're, uh, we, we would like to provide you more details and information about the programs to the attendees today. Yeah, can you hear me? You can hear me. Okay, great. How about Daphne? Anything you'd like to share with us? Hi, hi. Uh, uh, hi, hi, Bunny. Hi, everyone. Good I'm Daphne. Yes. I'm good. I'm good. I'm Daphne for, uh, from International Business. Uh, so, in charge of international students. 
so actually for international students, uh, we might we have the uh, merit scholarship to offer for international students. Yeah, so who can uh, progress to a degree or a master or like pre-degree, we still have the merit scholarship uh, to offer for students. So that is our um, benefit at the moment. So with the uh, pre-degree, uh, we offer uh, $500 uh, for pre-degree and uh, for degree. So How much uh, is that? $500? Uh, 500 oh. and for pre degree, uh, which is uh, 3000 uh, for uh, four degree. Yeah, and then master, we have uh, 3800 for master program. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. So, would that's anyone really who is interested in uh, be an international student, just feel free to uh, get in touch with me. I left uh, my phone number and then my email address here. So please uh, feel free to let me know. Good, good. So how long is the duration for uh, our higher diploma? Nine months, right? Stephanie? Uh, yes. Of fashion, the higher diploma is nine months. Wonderful. Very yeah, good. higher diploma is ninth month for an uh, international student. And then so after that, the it's a uh, very um, benefit and uh, for students to finish higher diploma and then they, they can progress directly to year two, which is mm. only uh, six. Hi, uh, the, the, maybe you yeah. can share with us a little bit of the information. Um, what kind of level or entry requirement for our higher diploma? Uh, so um, for international students uh, with the higher diploma uh, for foundation program, we only need a uh, requirement is for students who complete uh, secondary school, which is uh, 10 oh. years of education. And IELTS would be uh, 5.5 or pass the or MDI's OEBT test, uh, which is 76 over 100. And then they can progress, they can progress to international foundation. And for students who graduate from high school and uh, get the IELTS 5.5, still can uh, uh, can be eligible to higher diploma. Oh, yeah, that very is clear. Oh. Very clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, um, if the student they have the sketchbook, uh, the fashion uh, university are looking at sketchbook uh, always. You know, from this communication platform, we understand who you are, what you like, and what is in your mind. And the sketchbook is very important for, for my advice. So if you do have a sketchbook, please uh, send us your, your soft copy or screenshot of your soft, uh, sketchbook, and we will take this uh, in consideration as well. Okay, great. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you. So, um, do you have any questions you'd like to ask me or Stephanie? Yeah, we are very happy to answer your question. Hello, fashion people. Oh, uh, I think it's for uh, local students. Hi, yeah. Richie. Hello, Bernie. I'd like to uh, share the information with you. Today, our special rebate for our local students. And we have government recovery grant, and we have this virtual fair rebate. Oh, wow. Uh, if the students sign up, it depends on the levels. Uh, we were offering from foundation diploma to the degree. So it depends on the level, we have different types of rebate. If the mm. students sign up for foundation, we have $300 rebate. Uh, higher diploma, $300 rebate. And the degree level will be 3,000 rebate. Richie, if I'm not wrong, we're only doing this once a year. And this is yes. the only time we give, you know, uh, this. This is an exclusive rebate. Very I'm exclusive, right? Data. Yes, yes. Very exclusive. Fantastic. I think yes. it's very good for the students, yes. Yes, uh, whoever is interested in this course, we're encouraging all the students to apply in the event. Don't, Don't be afraid. Interest. Just proceed with your dream. Yes, yes. So they can enjoy, they can study. So it's, a, it's all benefits for the students. 
Yes, thank you, Richie. And I have left my name and contact number for all the inquiries regarding to the fashion school. I can provide all the details and information. Great, great. So, if you have any question you want to, uh, or you want to leave message at the uh, chat box. Yeah? So let me take a look at the chat box. Any question for me this morning? You can unmute, unmute yourself if you want to speak to me. Yeah, more than welcome. Please do so. Well. Mm. So if there's uh, no question for this morning, I Thank you for your time. Thank you everyone to be with us for the last you know, uh, hour. And we wish you all the best. Take care and stay safe and continue. Yeah, we have a lot of interesting courses to offer today. Yeah, stay safe. Bye-bye everybody.